In this video, we'll show you how to warp and straighten texture with the Paint Warp filter in Substance 3D Sampler. This functionality takes advantage of the drawing features of Sampler to warp materials. With the Straighten mode, the Paint Warp helps you tile scan material by fixing its natural deformations. Let's get started. First, add the Paint Warp in the layer stack by searching for Paint Warp. In the Parameter section, click on the Paint Brush icon. By default, the direction is set to Vertical. So let's draw a vertical curve from the top to the bottom. The image flow should follow your brush movements. In the Advanced tab, there is a Start Brush menu that is set by default to Top. This means that we need to draw from the top to the bottom, like so. If you are more comfortable starting your brush flow from the bottom, you can change the behavior in the menu. For the next steps, we will reset the filter. Now we would like to try drawing horizontal curves. To do so, change the direction to horizontal. Let's click on the paintbrush icon to draw horizontal curves from the left to the right. At any point, you can activate the guides helper to better see the warping curve generated by the paint warp. Lastly, we can play with the Smooth Warp parameter to smooth the deformation flow. Okay, let's have a look to the Straighten feature now. Let's say we want to tile this white scan fabric, but for now the sample is deformed. The opposite border won't match. We need to straighten the pattern before tiling it. Let's click on the brush icon of the Paint Warp. By default, the direction is set to Vertical. And to straighten the fabric, let's activate the straighten switch. On the 2D viewport, we'll set the brush to a smaller size to have a better precision. We'll begin to draw where the pattern starts, somewhere in the top part of the fabric. Then, by holding the shift key and moving your mouse, a straight line will trace in between the two positions of your cursor. With this technique, just try to follow precisely the flow of the original pattern. It should feel like stitching it. Again, we can activate the guide's helper to better see the straightened flow. Let's do the other side of the texture now. The objective is to follow the original pattern of the fabric. Let's draw one last curve in the middle. The more curves we'll define, the better will be the straightening. The vertical flow of the pattern is straightened. We can deactivate the guides and straighten the horizontal axis now. Let's add another paint warp filter in the stack by searching for it. We can now click on the paintbrush icon and set the direction to horizontal. Now we can activate the straighten mode. To work more precisely in the straighten mode, we can activate the show input helper. It will deactivate the warping so we can better follow the flow of the pattern. Let's draw a curve from the left to the right by holding the shift key and following the distortions. You can see that the map doesn't move. When straightening, it's always better to define curves within this show input mode, as you need to follow the input distortions. When we are finished with the drawing, we can deactivate the show input helper. The pattern will instantly realign. We can activate the guides to check the new flow of the fabric. Now we can tile the texture by adding the tiling filter in the layer stack. With the T key, you can toggle the repeat of the texture in the 2D viewport. When cropping into the horizontal axis, the pattern sides are perfectly matching. By cropping into the vertical axis, the opposite sides are matching too. We can tweak the threshold and the blur parameter to get rid of the tiny local variations. And voila, the job is done. The paint warp filter will help you to straighten and tile any structural material like fabrics, brick walls, woods, pavements, and other materials. Before you leave, I would like to show you a last feature within the straighter mod. In some cases, you might want to straighten diagonal patterns. We can do so by setting the start brush parameter in the advanced tab to middle keeps Q. Now, let's draw any curve. With the guides, we can see that the straightening axis won't be parallel to the image but interpolated in between the starting point 
and the ending point of the curve. With this option, we can straighten lines by keeping the pattern skew. We are only getting rid of the smaller deformation. Be careful, using this mode won't guarantee to be able to tile the texture, as the original skew of the pattern will be kept, but in some cases, it can be useful. This will end the tutorial. I hope you like using the paint warp in your scan processing workflow. I'll see you around in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.